Let's take a look at some percent problems by request. Let's uh, start over here. We've got 25% of 250. If we want to find that, we need to remember of means the operation multiplication. So to find that, to find 25% of 250, we can use the fact that of suggests multiplication. Our first step is going to be to convert the percent into a decimal. And to do that, we simply move the decimal two places to the left. Now on this number, the decimal is always at the right hand side right here. So we're going to move it two spots to the left, one, two, and we have 0.25. And then of, remember, suggests multiplication. So it's going to be 0.25 times 250. So we can go ahead and figure out what that is. Let's just grab our calculator here quick. 0.25 times 250 gives us 62.5. So back here we've got 62.5. So 25% of 250 is 62.5. Let's take a look at another one. This one we have a decimal percentage. So 0.25 percent of 300 so it's less than 1 percent 0.25 percent there's the decimal point again we're gonna move the decimal two spots to the left and then multiply so right now the decimals here so we're gonna go one two spots so we have 0 0.0025 of remember suggests multiplication so we're gonna multiply by 300 Again, we'll grab our handy dandy calculator here and we take 0 0.0025 times 300 and that gives us 0.75. So, 0.25% of 300 is 0.75. All right. So if we're just asked to find the percent of a number, we simply convert that percent into a decimal by moving the decimal point two spots to the left, and then we multiply. Let's take a look at uh, some problems where we're asked to find what percent two numbers are. So like this one, for example, 40 is what percent of 50? All right, to do that, what we can do is just go ahead and the of part is the bottom number, or the total. So we're going to put the 50 on the bottom of a fraction, and then the other number on the top. So if we're asked to find the percentage, we want the of, or the total, on the bottom, and then we're just going to divide them. So 40 divided by 50 is 0 0.8. Now, it's not 0.8%. This is the decimal. To get the percent, we need to move the decimal two spots to the right. Okay. Remember over here, we moved it two spots to the left to change a percent into a decimal. Now we're taking a decimal and making it into a percent by moving it two spots to the right. So this would be 80%. So 40 is 80% of 50. Let's take a look at another one here. 2 is what percent of 150? All right, same kind of thing. The of number, or sometimes in word problems, will be given a total, goes on the bottom. So 150 goes on the bottom. Then our other number is 2. So 2 divided by 150, let's grab our calculator. So we'll get that uh, decimal out for us. 2 divided by 150 equals. 0 0.01333333. Okay, so 0 0.01333 and so on. Okay, now let's convert it into a percent. To do that, we move it two spots to the right again. So one, two spots. So we have 1.3, let's just round it to two decimal places. So 1.33 percent. Alright, 
let's look at uh, just one more just to be very sure we know what we're doing here I'm just gonna switch colors quick and let's say we have a problem like this um, we have uh, how about 30 equals a blank or what percent of 10 okay now I throw this one in there just so you're not confused and thinking that we always put the big number on the bottom because that's not necessarily true we have to pay attention to the of part again the of number the 10 goes on the bottom I'm gonna switch back to green here so the 10 goes on the bottom in this case it's the smaller number but it's the of part 10 on the bottom 30 is our other number that goes on top 30 divided by 10 is 3 again don't forget to change the 3 into a percent we move the decimal two places to the right remember the decimal if it's not shown is at the right here so right there 1 2 so this is 300 percent so 30 is 300 percent of 10 alright I hope that was helpful um, remember to find the percent of a number we just move the decimal two spots to the left change that percent into a decimal and then multiply to find what percent two numbers are of each other we put the total or the of part on the bottom and then divide change the decimal into a percent by moving the decimal two spots to the right